here tonight particularly because I think Arlene and Bennett are going to have some fun. You'll all be somewhat in the mood of uh, thinking you're seeing double before we're done with you. That will all come clear later on. We've got some very interesting occupations. We'll also have a famous mystery guest before the panel a little bit later in the program. But right now, let's meet our first contestant. Will you enter and sign in, please? Joan and Jane Ryba, right? No. Ryba. Well, now you see what I meant, panel. Now, is it uh, Miss in yes. both cases? Yes, it is. Miss Joan and Miss Jane Reba. That's right. Correct? Fine. Where are you from? North Hollywood, California. North Hollywood, California. <laughs> Terrible thing. I got this in the ear trouble. I'm <laughs> hearing things double. Well, may I present uh, the Mrs. Reba to our panel? Okay. And now will you join me over here, please? And we'll let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. can tell you that the Mrs. Reba uh, are salaried, that they deal in a product, and we'll begin things with uh, Steve Allen. Is it a product that a man might use? Yes, it is. You both deal in the same product, of course. Yes, right. Uh, is it also a product a woman could use? Yes, she could. Uh, does it come in contact with the physical person when it is used? Yes, it does. Is it uh, smaller than a bread box? Sometimes. Does it have any metal as one of its components? Yes. yes. Any moving parts? No. no. <laughs> one down and nine to go. <laughs> Miss Merrill? Do you hold it in your hand when yes. you use it? Uh, does it sell for under five dollars? No. no. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Seth. I just think it's a lucky thing there aren't two John Daly's up there. <laughs> Now, well, this will be one of the few Sunday nights when I don't look like two to you. <laughs> now we're even. Pursue this matter. Miss, Mrs. Reba, might this product be declared, de defined as something that is worn? No. No. Three down and seven to go. Arlene. Does the product give pleasure? Yes. Yes, is there anything entertaining about the product in its use? Yes. Let could me, it... if I may put a caveat down here, I will agree that uh, it certainly could be considered in a tangential way to have an element of entertainment, but do not burden this area too much because it would lead you astray. Ah. Thank you, John. <laughs> Is the product used indoors? It yes. can be. Yes. Can be used both places? Right. Um, when it is in use, does it come in contact with the person using it? Yes. yes. Uh, is it used in any way as a sport or a game or a activity of some kind? Yes. Um, does, it <laughs> does it go from person to person when it is used? No. No, no I don't Use think. it all by yourself. Right. Yes. Four down and six to go, Mr. Allen. Can you bounce it? No. no. <laughs> five down and five to go, Dina Merrill. Uh, is it is it used in a sport? Well, that's a very good question. Yes, yes, yes. A very good question. I will agree that it has an application of use in a sport since it can be and is sometimes identified with general sporting activity. Um, I. <laughs> I've forgotten if I asked you or not, but can you hold it in your hand? Yes. In other words, it is fairly small. It, oh, yeah, sometimes. sometimes. Yes. Uh, is it made of plastic? Partly. Uh, is it partly made of fabric of some kind? No. No fabric. Nice try, though. Six down and four to go, Mr. Sir. Mrs. Reba, can you stand on this product or get into it? No. Neither? Neither. Neither either. 
Neither. Seven down and three to go, Miss Francis. Uh, can it be used on or near water? No. Uh, eight down and two to go, Mr. <laughs> Allen. This does not rule out the possibility that you could use it on or near water, but we presume the question was asked with a particular application to water. Why it do has you presume no application. That? <laughs> well, it can help things along. Steve? When you're not using it and it's just hanging around, you know, waiting till a free weekend, is it more apt to be in one part of the house than another? No, not necessarily. No, not in one part. It, it could be uh, kept in many parts of the house, depending solely on your discretion. Nine down and one to go, Dina. Does it need to be plugged in? No. Does it need to be plugged in? No. Be very, very useful. Any rubber in it? No. Got any idea? Waste any rubber baskets? in it? No waste no. baskets. No. Actually, the Mrs. Jane and Jones sell barbells for weightlifting. the plastic in a barbell? They it's coat the iron in this case. This is called oh. the weight. Yes. Right. The actual weight is coated in plastic mm -hmm. as well as the little clamp that holds the, uh, the weight on. Mm -hmm. I it's think. called the weight line barbell sets. Right. And, and the, you work in, actually, your home office where is it? It's Houston? in Houston, but we work in Southern California. You, they have a, the Southern California territory, which will explain what you, what why there are so the many barbells? barbell enthusiasts in Southern you California. You sell them? Yes, we sell them. Mm -hmm. They work for Newman, Dukes, and Klein, Incorporated. We'll get the address for you, Bennett, because I agree with you. You need them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Mrs. Jane and Jones. Thanks Thank a lot you. for coming to be with us. And